Fruits of a crime? Well, at least Trump's finally getting some potassium. It's News O'Clock, I'm Dave Colombo. And I'm Laura High. Breaking news, Trump Mar-a-Lago timeline officially more problematic than the Terminator franchise. It is a tough time to be Donald Trump and a great time to be anyone taking drone stock photos of Palm Beach resorts as the battle for the soul of the nation continues between our even-tempered former president and those hothead partisans at the National Archives. Call me crazy, when it comes to who's protecting America, I'm gonna go with the folks who store the Declaration of Independence over the guy who boycotted Oreos. Can this be what National Treasure 3 is about? He has to steal back the stolen documents while his sidekick makes sarcastic comments about the Mar-a-Lago decor? Send it. The affidavit has been released, though some parts are blacked out to protect sensitive information, and probably to let the former president get used to the idea of staring at bars. The affidavit reveals in January he returned 184 documents and 15 boxes, which is a dangerous precedent, but a solid packing technique. Seriously, if you don't run in 2024, might I suggest starting a moving company? You could call it Trump and some sons. And maybe it won't be wrapped up in so much turmoil, huh? It also says there's probable cause of evidence of obstruction, a crime he's committed so often, I need the National Archives to remind me if I've already made a blocked artery joke. I did? Wow, you guys are good. Well, at least his commitment to his crimes was way more solid than any commitment he had to one of his wives. My favorite moment is that the affidavit mentions a significant number of civilian witnesses, which is legalese for, Mr. Trump, do you have to park the U-Hauls on the bocce ball court? We were in the middle of a game. Evidence is mounting Trump might be guilty of espionage, which seems a little sophisticated for him, doesn't it? Although there was always a good chance he would go down for a crime he couldn't pronounce. And if I'm honest, Tinker Taylor Soldier Spy does sound like him bragging about his cognitive memory test again. Hey, maybe that's how we get him to admit it. We say only the smartest people commit espionage. You have to have the biggest brain, the most IQ, all of the IQ. Republicans have argued the documents could be for his memoir. Well, if you need to remember your presidency, I can help. Uh, fewer people came to your inauguration than the last guy. You threw your country under the bus for a Russian soccer ball. You tried to push a hurricane away with a Sharpie. You put kids in cages, and then you lost re-election to a guy no one was enthusiastic for. Also, remember throwing paper towels to Puerto Ricans like they were having a free throw contest? Hmm. You know what, though? Trump is the last person who hasn't written a damning hit piece about his time in the Trump administration. What if he flips on himself? Then in response, he blasts his own credibility, calling himself a low-level nobody who wasn't in the room. Then he sues himself for defamation. He challenges himself for the nomination. They both hire Giuliani, and he somehow incriminates them both. And oh no, I've gone cross-eyed. See you next time.